Kill Servers is one of the best web hosting services in Nigeria for sure. So in this video, I will show you the complete Kill Server sign up step by step and how to get your account ready so that you can start designing your website using Kill Server. If you want to know how to get started with QServer web hosting from buying your domain name to hosting it to managing your QServer's domain admin area and the rest of them. In short, I will show you everything to know about the QServer WordPress hosting and after watching this video, you will not need to watch any other. And of course, if you want any help in your WordPress website setup process, then you can also send me a direct message. I will be willing to help. So without wasting any more time, let's quickly get right to it. So first things first, use the link in the video description to get to the home page of QServers. It's my link, so please you should use it to get to the QServer home page. It won't cost you any fee if you do so. Thank you. So once you're on QServers, the first thing you want to do before going ahead to register your new domain name is to check the availability of your preferred domain name URL. To do so, scroll down a little while here and then at the domain search bar here, just type in your domain URL that you want to register. Now, if no one has ever used it before, then it will be available for you and if not, you will have to choose another domain name. So, as a demonstration, I will just go ahead and try out my domain test.com. I have decided to use a .com extension here, which is usually the most popular. So, I'll go ahead and click search and wait for the availability results. Oops! As you can see here, this domain name has been used by another person, so it is no longer available for me to use. There are two options you can take here. Number one, you can decide to change this domain name completely or just add in some more letters, numbers or an iPhone to it. Another thing you can do is to change the extension and see if another preferred extension will be available on the root domain name. But here is a warning. Remember that once you register this domain name, you cannot edit it again. So make sure that you decide on the domain name and extension without any shadow of doubt before you go ahead to complete your registration. Also note that extensions don't come at the same price. But for this tutorial, I will just change the extension here to a .hug and see if it will be available. Search. So as you can see here, the .org version of this domain name is available. So if I am okay with a .org, I will just scroll down and click continue. But in your own case, make sure that you choose the right extension that you want to use. But be mindful of the cost because they don't always cost the same. So here on this page, there are three features. First is the hosting, second is the registration period, and then there are two add-ons for you here. The minimum you can register your domain name for is a year, so that one has been automatically selected. Then come here to the add-on and choose only the free DNS management box here. I will ignore this privacy protect box. You can pay for it if you like, but it's not so important for me right now, so I will ignore it. Then just go ahead and click this click to hard tab here. Or you can do it here. So here we have the different QServers web hosting plans. QServers is a popular web hosting service in Nigeria because they have one of the best hosting services and very cheap web hosting plans. They also give you the opportunity to pay monthly, to pay quarterly, even six month hosting which several other web hosting companies don't offer. You will need to host your domain name that you want to use so that your website can be available live on the internet from anywhere around the world. So here, QServers has several hosting plans. There are different types of web hosting which I don't intend to go into in this video. But if you don't know about them, just stay here. Because if you click the choose another category, then you will see other types of web hosting that are available for you to choose. So let me come back here. Now, which one to choose will depend on two factors. Number one, if you are expecting a lot of traffic on your website when you open it or not. And number two, your financial strength. Now, the best way to advise you on which to choose is that if you already know for sure the plan that you want to go for, then go ahead and choose it. But if you're not so sure, then come here and choose either the business plan or the starter plan. 
So if you choose the business plan, then you will pay 21,000 Naira for it and you will keep paying that amount once every 365 days. That is once every year. But if you prefer to pay monthly, then you'll be paying 2,100 Naira every month. Technically, it is more expensive to do monthly plan because at the end of the year, you will have paid 25,200 Naira instead of 21,000 Naira. Another reason to go for this plan instead of the starter plan is that you have access to 10 subdomains instead of the 5 that the starter plan gives you, which to me is a nice reason among others that I won't be talking about right now. Also, paying monthly can be really stressful and you can even forget to pay sometimes and your site will just go offline without your knowledge, even though Q servers will still send you a reminder email. But of course, depending on your choice, you can go for any of them. But what if you think that you can't afford the business plan? then you can just go for the cheapest plan, which is the starter pack. This option is not bad also if you are a beginner. All you have to pay here is 15,000 Naira every year or 1,500 Naira every month. You can always upgrade to the larger plans later if there is a need to do so. And of course, you can also go for the larger plans below. But if you want me to record another video to explain these plans better and the different types of hosting, then let me know in the comment section and I will be willing to do that. Please, if you are enjoying this video, I want you to take a pause right now and like this video. I will really appreciate it. Also, if you are an unsubscribed visitor to this channel, I publish digital marketing, money and business tutorials. You should hit the subscribe button so you can enjoy more video tips to make money online. So once you decide on which of the hosting plan to go for, just click the other button. Make sure to confirm that this is the domain name you are registering and then click continue and wait for the next page to load. So again, scroll down and you can see the QServers 3 months, 6 months, 1 year, even 2 years plan and so on. So just carefully select your best choice here. Here, if you're not sure about what's happening and you don't want to pay more, then ignore everything here. Come here and make sure you have not selected something by mistake. The only extra money here is the mandatory VAT, of course. And note also that your domain name fee has not yet been added here. So once you confirm that, click continue. Once again, select the free DNS add-on here. And now the hosting has been added as you can see. So click continue and wait for the page to load. Okay, so scroll down here and just impute your details carefully. Make sure that they are all correct details, especially your email address. Because you will be receiving some important information in your email inbox. So make sure to take note of your password. So come here and tick the Terms of Service box. And here you can choose your preferred payment option. I always notice as at the time of recording this video that Flutterwave usually have payment issues. So I just go for Paystack personally, but you can use any one of them, of course. And then once I am certain that all my information are well done, I will go ahead and click the checkout button here. Okay, so I will take a look at the information once again to be sure. And then you can go ahead and make your payment, just like you're paying for any other thing online. And so once your payment is successful, you can then go ahead to the second stage of your domain name setup, which is to get your cPanel details and then set up your website using your preferred content management system, such as WordPress, Wix, and then the other ones. But I will be discussing this next stage in the part two of this QServers tutorial. So make sure you check it up so you can set up your website and then go live on the internet. If you enjoyed this video, then please reward it with a like and I will appreciate and also subscribe and turn on the alert bell so you get to know when I release my next videos. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one.